Hey guys, size here and in this video I'm going to talk about how to fix routing issues. I mean, if you are going to root your device with Magisk, then some routing problems comes. So in this video I will tell you how to fix that issues. Um, talking about some examples, uh, if you flash your device with latest Magisk, then your device going on boot loop not every time but in some cases your device going on boot loop so i will told on my previous videos how to fix that issue uh, you need to just flash magis 23 version through recovery after booted your device you are ne you need to install latest magis apk which is presently 26.3 so after that you can you you can good to go to update your latest magis through the apk but uh, in some conditions, in some scenarios, if we flash Magis 23 version through recovery, then it will going to uh, gives a boot loop. So how to fix? Now talking about uh, another issue, uh, if you flash a uh, Magis, you are uh, that is flashed successfully, but after uh, when device is booted, so you can when you open Magis APK, then you can see the Mag the phone is not rooted because it shows Magis uh, install is nil. But when you going to check your safety net, it will going to failed. But actually, before you flashing magic uh, from through recovery, your safety net your safety net is passed. But when you flashed your uh, magic uh, through recovery, your safety net going to fail. But device is not rooted. This is another problem. Now talking about another problem. Uh, for example, uh, in in previous in previous days, I mean before you flash magis when you you are uh, changing custom kernels you mean i mean uh, you changing a lot of kernels uh, but hap what happened once you root your device after that you want to um, flash any custom kernel or you you are flashed any custom kernel then you are not able to boot your device because your device is not booting and if you try on any kernel but it's not working your uh, device going on boot loop when when you want to flash custom kernel your device gives you boot loop so why this happen and how to fix it i will explain this all things in detail i will also tell you all the fixes but before starting the video if you're new on this channel then don't forget to subscribe also join our telegram channel where i provide important files and updates so without any wasting of time let's begin <laughs> Okay, let's talk about for, uh, how to fix first three problems. So talking about first problems, uh, first problem is if you flash any version of Magisk, your device going on boot loop. This is first problem. Second problem is when you flash Magisk, any version Magisk, you are, uh, the flashing is successful. Your device is also turned on successful, but your device is not uh, showing rooted as we can see so um, how to fix this second problem also and talking about third problem if you flash magic it is flashed successfully and it is started also successfully i mean your device is booted successfully but after that you know when you see on magic kpk your device is not rooted but your safety net is gone failed so these three problems we can fix with one solution so we have one solution for this uh, three problems so how to fix it i will tell you but uh, before move on that uh, particular fix first of all i will show you if i flash um, magis 23 version in this device that is a first problem so it my device going also in boot loop or in fast boot mode so i will show you just a second i am going to flash this magis 23 version so i am not going to flash latest version i am flashing old version as we can see i am flashing 23 version still my device gives me boot loop that, that is why and how i will tell you so I have flashed this Magis 23 version. Let's see it, my device is booted or not. So I click, clicked on simply reboot option and so here it is as we can see our device is stuck on boot loop and after some seconds it's going on fast boot. As we can see our device is not going to root our device is not going to boot so this is the problem this is the first problem okay so simply go on recovery and we need to delete one thing after that our first problem is solved and also our second problem and third problem also solved so what is the fix let's see 
so as we can see uh, first of all our uh, we need to boot our device on um, custom recovery so here it is i already booted on custom recovery and after that first of all we need to uh, uh, restore our um, first boot img i mean uh, first of all we need to take backup of stock boot img and after that this is a preview uh, i mean this is first we need to do it okay if you know how to root your device then this step you definitely know before we need before we going on to root our device first of all we need to take the backup of our stock boot img okay because if we if we face any boot loop issues or any type of issues then just we need to uh, restore that boot img and after that we will good to go to boot our device so i restore my stock boot img uh and my device is uh, on turned on successfully now i am going to root my device but before going to root my device first of all i tell you how to fix this three problems so first of all we need to boot our device on recovery mode okay my device is booted on recovery mode as we can see okay so first of all we after booted on our recovery mode just click on advanced option then click on file manager option then click on this uh, uh, data option here it is the data option and after that we need to go on this adb and as we can see here it is a magisk folder is present and a lot of stuff is present in magisk folder so just we need to click this uh, right button and we need to delete this all uh, things so click on this uh, magisk option and just go on black and click on this box as we can see here it is at the right bottom just click on delete option that swipe it after that go back and let's see that folder is deleted or not go on file manager go on data folder after that as we can see here it is no adb folder is present so that adb folder is successfully deleted so we need to do this for fixing our three problems which i told you on previously okay so now we are we are good to go to flash magis 23 version okay now flash magis 23 version and click on reboot and our device is now perfectly booted without any boot loop issue so let's wait for some seconds okay it is successfully flashed now just uh, click on this swipe okay after that click on reboot option and as we can see our device is successfully booted and our device is successfully rooted <laughs> this both things is happening successfully so i will show you and one important point uh, when you flash magisk and when you turn on your device uh, your uh, magisk is shows i mean your device shows your your device is not rooted when you open magisk apk uh, then uh, in magisk apk it shows nil there is no installed magisk so first of all enable your internet uh, whatever you have wi-fi or normal internet after that open the magisk apk then you are able to see your device is rooted otherwise magisk apk is not updated without internet and it will show you not rooted your device and mean install na it shows installed na okay so now our device is rooted successfully but it is on our 23 version so we need to update it so just click on this update option so and uh, update it to latest 23 uh, 26.3 presently because it is 26.3 so click on direct install click on let's go that's it and here it is a reboot option is appears after successfully installed as we can see here it is a reboot option is present that means our uh, device is rooted with latest magisk i mean first it rooted with 23 after that we will update on 26.3 through the magisk apk so this is the actual process now we are good to go to use our de um, device with latest magisk no problems now talking about the fourth problem which is if you if you if your device is rooted and you now suppose you your device is now presently rooted and you go on recovery and directly flash any custom kernel then your custom kernel gives you boot loop why why it gives boot loop because always note that magisk is shifted from one kernel to another kernel when you flashing on without rooting 
any custom kernel like my device is rooted with magisk if i go on recovery mode and i flashed any kernel then that magisk is patched with my latest kernel which is i flashed okay that kernel uh, that uh, um, stick with my custom kernel and after that it will uh, it, in some scenarios in some situations your device gives you boot loop because that patching is not done properly so to avoiding that problem just uninstall the magisk first unroot your device so just click on uninstall magisk and unroot your magisk i mean unroot your device after that you are good to go to flash any custom kernel don't worry after that you are flashing any custom kernel which is support your device your device not gives you any boot loop so this is the actual problem so i'm going to uh, unroot my device so as we can see here it is i am my device is rooted now presently so if you uh, suppose if i want to uh, uh, flash any custom kernel so how what can i do so simply first of all open the magisk apk let's i will show you okay first of all open the magisk apk then click on this uninstall complete click on uh, complete uninstall and that's it uh, it is automatically rebooted because we are removed magisk root okay we are click on total i mean complete uninstall button so our device is now rebooted and our device is unrooted okay so after unrooted you are good to go you are good to go to flash any custom kernel which you want to flash okay so you in next uh, after this when you going to flash any custom kernel it will not gives you boot loop so next time definitely uh do this step before you going to root your device okay that's it this is the actually fixes this is the actually problems so i will tell you all things in detail if you like this video then please definitely like this video and if you're new on this channel then don't forget to subscribe also join our telegram channel so okay see you in the next video love you guys goodbye take care